This mobile code snippet shows you how to access the camera and share pictures and text through the sharing services. So we call this share sheet, and this is actually handled through actions. So you can't get actions by putting an action list down in your form. You can get this in the tool palette. And you need to add two actions in here. The first one is, um, you can find them under new standard actions down here under media library. You have take photo from uh, library, take photo from camera, show share sheet. Those are the three we're using. Actually, we're not using the library one in this mobile code snippet. But the take photo from camera action has an event on it, did finish taking. And in this event, all we do is we take the image that's passed to this event handler and we assign it to the image that's on the form. And it just persists the image in between the taking the photo and sharing the photo. The other event here is the show share sheet action and it has a on before execute uh, event. And in here, just take that persisted bitmap and assign it to the share sheet action. What this does is takes the image that was persisted and passes it along to the share sheet. The share sheet is what in turn shares that. So now once you have these actions on your action manager and all set up, then you find the button you want to assign them to and you just assign the action. So there's an action property here and you just select the action you want to have. You can actually create a new standard action here from here as well once you have the action list on there. But so this one is take photo from camera and the share button has the show share sheet action attached to it. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this mobile code snippet in action. Here it is running on the iPad. When I tap the take photo button, it brings up the camera and takes a picture. So once the picture is taken, we select use photo. And now we're back in our application. This is where that photo has been persisted on the canvas here so that we can see it and also persist it between now clicking the share button down the lower right. So this brings up the option to share it through all the different means that are supported on the iPad. Um, this is greatly expanded in iOS 8, so not only can you use iMessage, Mail, Twitter, and Facebook, we can also come over here to More and select all these different options of ways to share our photo. Put it in Evernote, etc. Um, we can, down here at the bottom, you see we can print it, save it, copy it, and come over here to More to have additional options as well. So let's go ahead and select Twitter. And we see this brings up the Twitter Compose window and we have the preview of our photo there as well. And so we can type our new message here and post it. So here we see it running on the Nexus 5 under Android. And again, I tap the take photo button and we'll take a photo again on my keyboard. And we hit the checkbox to accept it. Now we're back in our application. The photo has been persisted and we tap share and it brings up all the sharing options on Android. So again, let's go ahead and do it via Twitter. There's Twitter right there. And we see here's our preview, our compose window with the image attached already. And we can compose our message. This has been a brief overview of using the camera and sharing photos via ShareSheet.